<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to my vlog for the month of March. What have you been doing? I hope you've been having a really good 2014 so far. I just thought I'd go through a few of the things I've been doing the past week. As with every other month, the next month seems to be busier than the last, so I hope you're keeping a top of things and I'm taking some time out when you need to. So I just thought I'd go through a few things that I've been doing. The beginning of March, I was still in Sydney. Um, I was in, if you saw my um, vlog for January and February, you would know that I was down in Sydney and Melbourne for some cruelty free super member interviews that I was doing. And um, I was in Sydney for the first weekend of the month, hanging out with some friends and trying a lot of um, the vegan restaurants and going to places I hadn't been before, which was really cool. I um, then came back to Brisbane and where I did more videos, more blogs, more articles, more interviews and um, working on the book as well. So I'm sure a few of you that have been following me for a while would know that I have a new book coming out one day. It was meant to be out before Christmas. Um, it's called There's a Vegan in the Kitchen and um, where it's been resubmitted quite a few times to my publisher and cross fingers this might be the last changes that we need to do so hopefully by the next vlog that I do I will have really good news for you about that <laughs> um, I at the beginning of the month sometime I did a podcast with two guys Jordan and Jeremy who run a really amazing podcast called which side podcast they're from um, Utah in the States and I suggest you have a look at their website if you have not already and um, they interviewed me and I spoke about veganism and animal rights and all the stuff that I get up to so make sure you check out their website to hear that and then also have a look um, on my iTunes or on my podcast and also on Stitcher now and um, you can listen to the interview that I did with them and you can also watch the video that I recorded um, and have on YouTube and um, I've been working around, I've been doing a few other podcasts and hopefully you'll see some more very soon. I also had a visitor, Jim Campbell. He's one of my most vocal supporters and he comes from Launceston, which is a place in Tasmania um, in Australia. And if you've ever seen a map of Australia, Tasmania is that little bit at the bottom of the main sort of area. Jim came for almost a week and we got to hang out. Um, we've never met in person, so that's always good. And um, we hung out at various vegan places. He met some of my friends and my family and he actually helped me film some of my videos which are happening at the moment. Um, the videos of me with the white dress, the blue accessories if you're wondering. And um, so he was really um, excited to see a bit of the behind the scenes with um, some of the things that I do. And then I also interviewed Jim for Viva La Vegan and he then interviewed me. So make sure you check out both of those interviews. You can see them on this YouTube channel and also on iTunes. And we went to various vegan places that we have in Brisbane, the Green Edge, which is our um, vegan supermarket grocery store. And they also have a cafe there. We went to Loving Hut and we also went down to the Gold Coast. And um, I like to take people down the Gold Coast for a little bit of an adventure. And we like to start off with yum cha, um, go to From Earth and Water for dessert, and then go to Mandela Organic Arts Cafe for dinner. And on this day, we also joined some of my friends for um, also for lunch, but also afterwards for some hula hooping and some juggling in the park at Burley, which is always fun to do something different. And um, Jim had a really great time here. It was great to have him here. And um, I look forward to meeting some other people that I only know via online because I feel that we need to be connecting back to each other instead of just all the online stuff that really isn't connecting to any of us at all. And also one of the 
most exciting things that happened for me is um, the beginning of the AFL season so that's the Australian Football League for people that aren't aware of that and um, so that is one of my times where I get to chill out and not think about things related to animal rights, veganism, music, feminism, environmentalism etc. So that's one of my big passions and I like to go to the games. I'm a um, Brisbane Lions supporter and member so I go to all the games at the Gabba and um, I had also had one of my friends from Perth, J Jody. she runs a place called Our Place on Earth. You can look at her website and um, I'm sure if you followed um, vivalavegan.net you would have seen some of the work I've done with her and we've done together in the past including a walk that she did for 500 kilometers I believe with um, some of her rescued animals and um, we yeah we had that day was really cool actually when she was here because um, one of um, a new-ish um, raw mostly raw place in um, Fortitude Valley in Brisbane um, they she let me know uh, Belle who works there she let me know that there was a pop-up at a place I wanted to check out so we went to see um, Raw and Peace and we went to the pop-up I went there with James from Delicious Regardless and Alejandro Cancino from a Bain restaurant he's the head chef there and you would know that I have had a great degustation vegan meal there for my past birthday in December and that was pretty good and then I've also been reading quite a few different books and I've been seeing a lot of bands and um, one of my friends Emma Dean she's a vegan herself and she's also just come back home from New York where she was for a while with her partner and she performed at the Judith Wright Center with her band The Hungry Truth and it was really cool I went there with one of my close friends Renata and her partner Will and we had a really really good time um, the band's really amazing and make sure you check them out if you haven't heard of them and then I think it was like the next night or pretty soon after one of my friends as he's in a band called Smoking Martha and I was actually in their film clip or um, what you Americans may call a music video um, a few months ago so I went there to support their EP launch at the Tempo, a Brisbane um, music venue and um, that was a really cool night too and, and one of my other friends, he actually supported them on the night, Adam, um, his band called um, Jack Badger, so that was a really cool night seeing some of my friends I haven't for a while. Um, this month I've been mostly house sitting at a place in the Grange and that's been really cool. I had some new dog friends for a while and um, I went to, been to a couple of home games. I've been to a couple of games for the Brisbane Lions. The first game, that home game was Brisbane Lions versus Geelong where we played quite well. We also played quite well the week before against Hawthorne and um, then after that gig, that was a Sunday night I think don't, I can't remember the date of that one, maybe the end of the month. Um, Brian, who you may know as the vegan black metal chef, um, he's very popular on YouTube and he makes videos of all different types of food and he actually writes the, um, he writes the music and the lyrics to the videos and the lyrics are like the recipe and how to cook things. So um, he was there at a venue like a metal venue in Fortitude Valley called the Crowbar along with Issa and Terry uh, from Post Punk Kitchen so it was really good to see the three of them again and Brian's actually just spent the, the last 10 days with me in Brisbane and um, it's been really cool we've had a lot of fun and I took him to many many places vegan places in Fortitude Valley in West End in Brisbane City we also did um, an epic day down at the Gold Coast where we did, like I did with my friend Jim, we did um, yumcha for lunch which I've, I found out the Americans call dim sum and um, we had a look on Google about the differences and they pretty much mean the same to be honest <laughs> and then we went to From Earth and Water for dessert and this is with my friend Adele and the three of us we went to the Palm Beach uh, swimming area where they allowed dogs and then we went to Burley Beach to ride some waves after that and then for dinner we went to Mandela Organic Arts Cafe and it was really cool it was a really really long day and then after that we actually walked around Surfers Paradise they had a um, night market on and walked around there and on Cavill Avenue and saw this really cool um, 
street performer who was juggling knives on top of like a massive bike and or unicycle and yeah it was a really cool night we were exhausted <laughs> and um, we also did lots of other cool things I'm in the middle of um, a few photo shoots and work for some of my clients updating a website um, one of them for cruelty free super so we've been working on doing quite a few photo shoots and a few things with various people I'm working with so that's been cool um, Brian also went on a few hikes um, with some friends and took him to some vegan places like the Green Edge, the grocery store um, where he had the epic burger um, and Pukong, an uh, Asian restaurant, has a lot of fake meat stuff, Su Life, also Loving Hut of course and also um, very exciting for me, maybe not as exciting for him. <laughs> I took him to the Brisbane Lions versus the Gold Coast Suns um, AFL game down the coast at Metricon Stadium, which is the um, Suns home stadium. And um, it was his first game of AFL and um, it was it was quite we didn't we didn't actually play very well at all my favorite player Daniel Rich injured himself um, one of our best defenders got sent off for two weeks um, because he hit someone else so it wasn't the best game at all um, but Brian enjoyed it and he got to see what a game's like and to see the best AFL player Gary Ablett play and not only that afterwards when we went to Mandela um, it was Brian, myself, my parents and a friend Will and we all went to Mandela. Guess who's there but Gary Ablett and I'd met him there previously a few years ago so it was really good to see him frequenting a vegan, a vegan place. And um, another thing that was really cool was that um, I had a, I held a, a vegan Australian barbecue for Brian and um, in case you're not aware in Australia we love to have barbecues in Queensland in particular we do a lot of things outdoors because we mostly have beautiful weather and so my dad was in charge of doing the barbecue and we had some lamb yong sausages we had some chicken skewers we had um, I cut up a few bits of tofu and tempeh and Brian put some sauces on those so they were all on the barbie barbecue short for barbecue and um, some other people, Ange and Pete, made some damper, which is like a bush bushman's bush tucker type food, which is pretty much flour and water and maybe a bit of salt. And she made a billy tea. Um, it's just a strong sort of tea. Genevieve made some lemmingtons. Other people made various different things. And we also had a burger bar, so we had some buns and put some food on that. Um, Brian had never had hot cross buns before, which we have for Easter. We've got some at the moment. And um, passion fruit, he'd never had a fresh passion fruit before, so he had one off the vine. And yeah, he tried a lot of really cool stuff and he picked up some of the Australian lingo. We had a really cool time for the past 10 days. And he's back in Florida now, probably by the time you um, actually see this. And then uh, yesterday we took him with some friends, Adele, Carol and Jet and myself and Brian, we took him to this place called Cirame Winery, which they don't have any vegan options whatsoever actually, but you can just walk around and look at all the wallabies and the wallabies will come up to you somewhat um, and then, you know, just wander around the vineyards and it's really cool and beautiful sort of scenery. We also took him to a Daisy Hill Koala Park, which they have park areas where you can just, you know, have barbecues or picnics and the wallabies actually came up to us quite a bit then. We also saw kookaburras, um, crows. Um, my parents and I took Brian on a, a really cool walk around um, some local areas where there's a, there's a lot of nature and birds and Brian really liked the white cockatoos and the pink and grey galahs so we've got some really cool bird life over here. And yeah, we've just had a really cool time and it's been a really intense month but it's been really good. I'm looking forward to Skyping with a few people soon. I'm doing some new interviews for podcasts and for videos. And if you'd really like to be one of those people, please get in contact with me. Next month's going to be also pretty full on but good. And um, I look forward to sharing you, with you all my adventures next time. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And let me know what you've been up to. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Take care.